So it's like extremely important. Oof. So you probably don't want to do that. I think that's another textbook example of what not to do with your CPU. Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the mounting bracket on the Noctua NHD15. So what happened is that I did a general system upgrade and I changed my motherboard from Intel to AM4 Ryzen. And originally I was using the Intel mounting brackets. And because I didn't have the AMD mounting brackets, that means that I installed the AMD stock cooler for my Ryzen 3700X. But in fact, you can actually get the AMD mounting brackets for free if you email Noctua with your purchase receipt, or you can actually buy them from Amazon, which I'll leave a link to in the description. So this is less of a how-to guide and more of a kind of documentary of my experience with it. I have made a few mistakes and hopefully people are gonna learn from some of the errors that I've made. And I really hope that some people find it useful. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So this is just a kind of um, general upgrade, I, I suppose, which requires taking everything out and then putting everything back in, which is can be a real pain, but uh, it's worth doing every now and then, especially since this thing is real dusty too. So first thing, GPU comes out. Mounts come out here. And screws go here. Obviously this is the biggest part of the whole computer. This is my 2070, which I bought before lockdown, which has uh, served me very well through this GPU crisis. Okay, and then basically we're just gonna disconnect everything else. So. so I've taken out the cooler here, the fan pins, and what I'm gonna do is unlatch this here. So I can take this latch out at the top, and then I'm just gonna pull this up so it doesn't actually relatch itself. And uh, the other side does not have this type of uh, clip. So what I do find a bit easier is if we just go ahead and unscrew this. So we can get between the, the heat pipes and start unscrewing this cooler anyway. And I'm just gonna do the other side too because then we can just lift the whole thing up. So there's a couple of screws in the same place at the back. The, uh, there's enough space for the heat pipe, between the heat pipes to actually unscrew this. Find the thermal compound a little bit tight. So you probably don't want to do that because what I've done is I've pulled out the entire CPU <laughs> with the um, with the heat sink out of the mount. So that's not fantastic, but luckily we haven't bent any pins. So yeah, just be careful when you're unscrewing this mount because this. This, um, this thermal paste has really done a number on this. And uh, yeah, we've got to be careful. This is probably why my temperatures were so bad. So let's try to get this CPU off. So I'm pretty sure that that was a textbook example of what not to do with your CPU. I mean, luckily none of those pins are bent. So I'm you know very lucky that I managed to pull it up vertically. But let's try to remove this. I think it would have been better if I took out the mounts correctly. I mean, I did try to remove the screws properly, but basically I'm gonna try and get this off this mount using something that's not metallics and nothing's gonna conduct or scratch this. And then at the same time, pull off this uh, very thick adhesive, almost like thermal paste. This is the stock thermal paste that comes with the CPU and it should not look like this at all. So it's like extremely important. Oof. It is extremely important that you do not bend any of the pins. And uh, I think that's another textbook example of what not to do with your CPU because trying to get this off here, it's almost like glue this. You've gotta be really careful with this because um, I thought that this would be okay. Uh, I was getting about 90, degrees centigrade temperatures on this. And I think it's just because the CPU is caked. And you know, I only installed this about 18 months ago. So I'm really surprised that this has gone so wrong so quickly. So let's put that aside. Just make sure that your CPU is kept extremely safe and nothing's gonna grab onto it. Because if those pins bend, then we're gonna have a real issue. 
So basically what we're gonna do for safety is basically put this CPU back in where it should be. I'm gonna place it in with the arrow pointing bottom left. And then we'll just slot that down like that, put it into its case there. Um, I just wanna make sure that this does not have any kind of dust on it. Let's just clear this out. This looks good to me. Place the CPU down and then put it down like this. And then I'm just gonna wipe it. So we get all that cruddy old compound off. So basically now I'm just gonna be following the instructions on what to do with this uh, Noctua cooler to adapt this so that we can mount it on the M4. So, you know, this was not originally designed to be used with this processor, of course. It used to be used, uh, used to be mounted on an Intel one. So basically, I'm just gonna clean up the old thermal paste, which you know, has endured quite nicely. And uh, we're gonna install these stock parts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start mounting these parts. So it's basically asking us to put these clips on the side of the cooler. So one of these side parts. So because this is an NHD15, we can skip this five first step here. So it's asking us to fix these fastening brackets. So I don't actually need these because we have them here, I believe. And uh, we're gonna move the, do the next step, which I've already removed the retention modules. And then I'm going to put the mounting bars on. So these basically lock straight onto the, to the bars themselves. So what I'll do is I'll put the stock cooler down. I'm gonna use the long mounting bars to, so that I can mount them correctly in the motherboard. Okay, let's go and do, let's just do this. So basically you have the option of mounting it two different ways, AMB4 or AMB5. I'm gonna be choosing AMB4. That's just because of the way that my motherboard's laid out. So this back plate is gonna go on and then these short plates will go on top like this. And then I'll be mounting them with the risers. So I'll be having a riser here like this. I'll be mounting it like this. So that means the cooler is gonna sit like so onto this part here. And I'm gonna have it facing that way so the airflow can go out towards the uh, outer case fan. So basically I'm just gonna set up all my screws and my mount plates. And uh, basically I'm just gonna screw this in. So yes, I am gonna do this the lazy way. I'm not gonna take the motherboard out. I am just going to plug it straight in. First, we're gonna get one mount in first and then continue from there. So I've got my mount there. I've got my riser, which I'll put here. And then once I've got one screw in, the rest will, once I've got one screw in, the rest will follow quite easily. I'll put my other mount here. And then I'll put my so this quite handily says this side up you don't want it pointing down and basically use the long screws included in the pack so I've got a couple more here which I'm using and we just put the mounting sockets in there and it should be fairly straightforward I'm just going a bit closer so you can see properly so now that that mounting plate is in there properly, I'm just gonna put this in. So that mounting plate goes there. And we've got our risers here. Two risers there, two risers there, then our mounting plate like so. Make sure this is nice and tight because after this step, we're going to be mounting the cooler directly onto this. So basically, once that's done, we can mount our uh, heatsink in. Um, what I'm going to do first is probably plug everything back in. So, so if we're doing this the lazy method, then we don't have to unplug everything. 
Okay, so I've uh, installed a couple of extra upgrades now. Uh, extra hard drives, some USB stuff here. Uh, added more power for the extra hard drives. Basically, we're ready now to complete the final step of here. I'm just going to basically use um, MX4 Arctic Thermal Compound. And we're going to put a, I'd say, a large P-shaped size in the middle of this. So about that much should be sufficient. And uh, then what we're going to do is to basically mount this so that the fans are you know, in this configuration. So it's going to go outwards. Just make sure this is nice and clean. And basically we're going to place this directly on the heatsink there. And then we're going to use our screwdriver and basically push down relatively hard to mount this fully. Just be careful with these fan grills because they can be very sharp. This originally came with a really long screwdriver, which I cannot find, so that you could avoid um, doing too much damage. I'll use my big screwdriver. <sighs> yeah. Basically, yeah, you want to avoid um, rubbing your hands on any of the grills because that would be very painful. So, you know, originally I was quite happy with my original um, setup for this, uh, the stock cooler. It was fine because I didn't have the mounting plate. I had to wait a few weeks for that. But uh, now hopefully we're going to get much better temperatures. Basically, we've got this Y splitter, which attaches the two fans on. And uh, we've got these directions, which tell us which way the airflow is going to go. So basically, we're going to mount this so that the airflow is going this way out, because we want to go through the rear case. So basically, this fan here, I'm going to mount it so it's going this direction. And so that's where the logo of the actual Noctua fan is. And basically, I'm going to put it right here. And then this fan as well, I'm also going to be mounting so that it's going in the direction of the logo. And uh, I'll be mounting it here. So we've got these handy little clips. So the important thing is that we're mounting it this way and that we'll be putting it right, like so. So this fan is so these are both facing this direction and um, I don't think it matters that much whether we mount it to this heatsink or this one. You know what, actually I'm going to reverse this one because I want to mount it to the other side of here. So to reverse it, it's relatively simple. We just put them, we just hook these in the holes like so. And to the other side here. Basically, we're going to mount them like so, so that we reverse the the, uh, the area here. So that goes there. This one is in the wrong hole. This should be... And this one, we're going to do the same. We're going to hook it there and hook it here. And then basically, because the airflow is going this way out, I'll place this on the other heat sink. And this one's got the proper height. And so we're going to pull in air from this side and pull in air from here, and then it's going to go into the outer case. So now what I'm going to do is to turn the computer on and see what the fan temperatures are now like. So on the left, I have my original stock cooler with the kind of cruddy thermal paste, and that's running about 85 centigrade. And on the right, this is with my Noctua NHD15, and we're running at around 40 centigrade on idle. So obviously the upgraded cooler is doing much better on my Ryzen 3700X. So anyway, that is how you kind of wrongly install the AM4 mounting brackets for the NHD15. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.